worked extensively with men who are violent. And one thing I noticed is that once again, they would tend to choose women who were going to take it. Yep. And also, the other factor is that they find it very difficult to notice the moment they make a decision to be violent. And I'm just wondering how much of that has to do with the influence of the spirit. Of the yeah. spirit. yeah, very much influenced by the spirit. But, but it doesn't take away the responsibility of the person because the person does have this violent tendency towards women. So the person is angry towards women. And so therefore, you know, the spirit, all the spirit does is take advantage of a situation to express the rage. The, all the spirit, the spirit's not even interested in the man in most cases. All they're interested in expressing their rage towards the woman that's with the man because she's a woman. It's got nothing to do with who she is. It's just she's a, she's a woman. So I'm going to express all this rage towards this woman. And so a lot of times, the time that the switch occurs in the man, in the person, the person is not even aware of what's going on or, or, or you know, is uncertain. And this is why it's high, the switch is heightened by alcohol or drugs. Because the person has less personal awareness of their own emotional condition, which can easily then be influenced even to a greater degree by the spirit. And unfortunately, it's a lot of this intergender rage is actually continued by people in the spirit world. In fact, a lot of interracial rage is also continued by people who have passed in the spirit world. So what happens is you get people on earth in this rage who pass over in the rageful state, now wanting to connect to other people on earth and cause them to be in the same rageful state that they are in. And the only way to combat it is by choosing to feel the underlying causal emotion within yourself. It's the only way to combat it. So if a man, let's say a man who's violent towards women, what he needs to do is he needs to separate himself from women. He, if, even if he's married, he needs to get out of that relationship for a period of time, be by himself, and all of that rage and anger he, he has towards women, he needs to go out with a punching bag and with a bat and connect to that anger and rage and then deep down, get deeper down into the sadness and the grief that he actually feels in his relationships with women that they don't approve of him and they don't accept him and they don't care about him and so forth, right? And just connect with all of that rage and anger. And if he does that, and he does it and asks for God's assistance through that process as well, within a short period of time, that anger and rage will be out of him and he'll be able to move back into the relationship and the spirit connection will also be broken. Because those spirits are now seeing that this man, instead of, not, instead of wanting to blame the woman, this man now is willing to look at the emotion inside of himself and deal with that emotion inside of himself. And a spirit wants you to blame the woman because that's where the spirit is trying to aim all of their rage. And they're just using you as a tool. So if you're a woman getting into rage with men or you're a man getting into rage with women, all that is is allowing yourself to be used as a tool by a group of spirits in the same condition. Okay?